Are you in the club? Na, 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 na. Hey, this is Disney Cars Toy Club, and today we have a very special Rabbids toy video for you guys. We have 10 surprise packs that we're going to open, which includes four of the Rabbids Invasion packs. We have three of the Travel in Time packs, and we have three of the Foreign Rabbids packs as well. And we're also going to open up the Rabbids Invasion toy pack. We have one Kinder Surprise and two Monster Ink eggs. So we have a lot of different stuff to open up. Let's go ahead and get started with this Rabbids Invasion toy pack. I can't wait to see what these two characters can do. So in our value two pack, it includes Chicken Surprise and Plunger Face. And Chicken Surprise says, egg shooting action and sounds. Plunger Face says, plunger smacking action and sounds. On the back, you can see some of the other collectibles, which I believe those are gonna be the Rabbids Invasion collectibles. So I'm gonna be opening those here in just a moment. You can also pick up this Plunger Blaster. And here's a few of the characters. There was one other two pack, which includes these other two characters. If you guys want to see these other two, make sure to hit that like button so that we know that you're interested in these toys and we'll go pick them up for you. Now, let's go ahead and get this open. Let's take a look and see what these characters will do. <laughs> okay, so there's one. And let's see. I'm wondering if I can just pull him right out. Yeah, it looks like we can pull him right out. And one thing that I didn't notice until just now as I'm opening this, it actually includes these little clip-ons so that you can clip these onto, it says coat zippers, backpacks, sports bags, purses, etc. So you could actually clip this to like your belt or something on your pants if you wanted to take these around with you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one here. Here's Plunger Face. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much all he does. And if you push his belly right here, it also makes that same noise. There's the back of him. And you know, if you notice, he's actually standing on a little base, so you can stand him up on a desk or something. That would be really cool to have just sitting on your desk at work. <laughs> People would probably come by all day and do that to the point to where you'd get annoyed with it and have to put it in your desk. And here's gonna be our other rabbit, which does include this trash can lid, which just should pop right onto his head here. There it goes. So he almost looks kind of like a samurai. And if you look really closely, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a launcher inside of there, which you launch by pulling on the chicken's head. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick this egg right into the chicken's butt. And then you should be able to just pull this out Maybe you gotta put it in there a little bit more. There it goes. So we'll do that one more time so you guys can see this. And the chicken does not seem to like it too much. So there you go, that answers the question of which came first, the chicken or the egg. So let's go ahead and set him down. And we'll just move these keychains back here. And let's go ahead and open up our first Rabbids Invasion Pack. Let's see what's inside of here. And Eric, let's see, what do we got here? So it looks like we got a rabbit, and I was getting ready to say playing baseball, but he's got these little bowling ball holes on the top of the ball, so I guess he's trying to bowl like that. He's got a pretty cool looking hat. There's a better look at him. So we'll just set him down. Let's go ahead and go with the next one. And there's actually, it says there's seven of these to collect. If you look on the back, these are gonna be the different ones that you can collect. I don't personally have a favorite in there. I kinda like the frying pan guy, so I wouldn't mind getting that one. Next up, we got the frying pan guy. That's, man, that's the second time in the last couple videos that I've said I wanted a specific one and then it, it came popping out of the very next bag that I opened. But there's gonna be the frying pan and we'll just put him right on the base. And he's kind of adorable looking, isn't he? <laughs> That's a really cute looking rabbit. All right, so we'll just put him back there. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And we get, let's see, there's nothing else in there. This is gonna be another one. I'm glad we haven't gotten any duplicates yet. That's, we're off to a good start so far. There's gonna be that one. 
The thing I like about the rabbits is they have really cool looking bug eyes. <laughs> That's really what makes them kind of stand out. Let's go ahead and open up the last rabbits invasion pack. Of course, we still have six other surprise packs to do here next. And what do we got? We got another one. Let's we'll see. That's pretty good. We're four for four on not getting any duplicates. Now he's pretty crazy looking. Actually, he's probably my favorite one because of his expression on his face. That's pretty good stuff. We'll just set him back there. Next up, we have the Foreign Rabid Pack. I don't know what that says. Um, maybe one of you guys can comment and let us know because that's one language I'm not familiar with. And inside of here, looks like we got a logger of some sort. Sitting on a log, holding a branch. He's got a pretty cool looking toboggan. It almost looks like his face pops off with the way it's kind of glued on there. Okay, it looks like he had an ax and he broke it. So there's that. And then also inside of here we got, looks like a sticker right there. And we got some type of collectible card, I believe. And we got some cards here. Those are the cards that go inside the pack. And then I guess this is gonna show some of the different ones that you can collect. Again, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure what language that is. It might be German or Russian or something. I, I guess German, possibly. Not too sure. All right, let's go ahead and open the next one. I gotta be kind of careful because it feels like I'm kind of cutting into the card there. Definitely got a different one this time. You know, the one thing that I noticed about these is the paint on them. If you look really closely, like, the paint's not perfectly done. It almost looks like they've been hand-painted. Like, this one's even got some green paint on them, so that's kind of interesting. Let's just set him back here. And there's the sticker inside. There's going to be the two cards. There's China and Morocco, I guess. I wonder why, um, for some reason, that's punched out. I don't know why that's punched out. If you, I guess if you, there you go. If you put them next to each other, you, I guess you can compare them that way. It's rather interesting. And the final foreign rabbits pack. Let's see what we got in here. All right, we got one playing a bagpipe. So I guess this is like a Celtic one. Very cool. <laughs> that one's pretty funny looking. Let's go ahead and check out the cards. And there's the sticker. That's a duplicate. First duplicate of anything that we've gotten so far. There's Algerian and Argentinian, I guess. And you can line them up and compare. <laughs> Furzometer, spasometer, nervometer, buomometer, I guess. Good luck trying to say those words. And then let's go ahead and do the Rabbids Travel in Time. Now, th this is the one pack that I'm most looking forward to. In fact, if I had to pick one of the characters on the front, I'm, I'm looking for that Egyptian one right there. The Egyptian one or the cowboy one, those look pretty cool. And what do we got here? Okay, we got a rabbit in some sort of dress, like a princess dress. And then, looks like these also come with cards. And it actually has a game which tells you how to play. Like, for example, this card says, move one opponent's rabbits backwards or forwards one time per game. So I guess these are cards that you can use in the game. Imitate this rabbit until your next turn or skip your next turn. And let's take a look and see what else is in here. These are actually the instructions for how to play the game. So that's pretty cool that it comes with that. And if you look right here, I guess this is going to be some of the different characters that you can collect. It says there's 27 different characters to collect and there's 60 cards to collect. So if you're going to pick up a surprise pack. This is probably going to be the best one, the travel in time, because it's going to come with so many different rabbits, you're less likely to get duplicates. 
And then let's go ahead and open the next one. I wonder if I can just rip these. Yeah, we can just rip these open without having to use the scissors here. And wow, look at that. I said that was the one I wanted. There was, what, 27 figures to collect and I got the one that I wanted. That, man, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know if that's good luck or if it's creepy or what, but that was the one that I wanted. That is very awesome. That is a very cool looking rabbit. And let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that he comes with. All right, so this card says this rabbit has no special skills, blah. All right, so that card's kind of useless. Speak like a rabbit until your next turn or skip your next turn. So got the same card there twice. And the final travel in time rabbit pack. Let's see what's inside of here. And we got, wow, what is that? It's like a prince, an Egyptian prince of some sort. And he's got a little mirror with him too. Set him down and let's see what cards he comes with. Those rabbits actually stand up pretty good. Like they're real easy to stand up. And this one says, hold your rabbit over the card and let it fall. If it falls on the card, play again. <laughs> the funny thing is, is it doesn't tell you how far up the card needs to, like how far up the rabbit needs to be. So, I mean, <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of an interesting card. And then right here it says, ignore one card's effect one time per game. So that's actually a pretty useful card if you were gonna play the game. Next up, let's go ahead and do the Monster University eggs. I said Monsters Inc. at the beginning of the video, but these are actually called Monsters University eggs. Let's go ahead and open up this first one. I've done a few of these on the channel so far. And let's see, what do we got in here? We got some candy, which I'm not a big fan of that candy. That candy right there <laughs> tastes the best out of all the surprise eggs. And then we've actually, this is gonna be one duplicate because we got this in another egg about a month or two ago. Let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys what it does. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to shoot over some of these rabbits back here. Okay, that's a, that's a hit. Normally I miss on the first one. Let's see if we can get another one. There we go, got an another one, two for two. Let's see if we can get one more. There we go. Well, that one didn't fall over. Good enough, so that's that. Let's go ahead and open up the next Monsters University egg. Where is the... Let's see, looking for the strip. There it is. All right, got some more of the candy that I'm not a big fan of. And then we got, what is this? It's like maybe a button. I haven't gotten one of these yet. And not sure what that is actually. Looks like some sort of button. <laughs> and, uh,. I dropped it on the floor, of course, but here's some of the different things that you can get. And there is the sticker that it comes with. Once again, let's take one more last look at the mystery item. And finally, last but not least, what some of you guys came here just to see, let's open up this Kinder Surprise Egg. Let's see what's inside of here. These are always a lot of fun. Well, I say always, there's been a couple that weren't the most fun, but let's see what we got here. Looks like this is going to be, I have absolutely no idea. Looks like some type of, I guess, drawing design. You know, even looking at this, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Um, hmm. Okay, it looks like you can put this on a piece of paper and then draw with the pencil and then it should make something. So with the first template, I was able to make this very simple looking duck. With the second template, not as much luck. I, I think that's supposed to be a tiger of some sort, but uh, there you go. That That's drawing with Disney Cars Toy Club for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this Rabbids video. If you do want to see more of the Rabbids, be sure to hit that like button. We will cover more of the surprise packs and the characters if you want to see more. This is Disney Cars Toy Club, and as always, thanks for stopping by. No, no.
na na na. 